I think every, every Nigerian family has, deals with the ghost of the Civil War in some way, no matter what side they're dealing with, whatever. But um, there's a ghost that haunts all of us. And, and that, that is definitely true for my family. I've grown up hearing the stories. I've grown up hearing um, the, you know, what people had to do. My, my mom's side of the family had to flee the North when they were um, killing Igbos, because my parents are Igbo. And, you know, I've grown up hearing the stories. So, and this was even before I became a writer. So when I became a writer, those stories naturally were one, very important to me, but two, something that I wanted to explore and discuss in various ways that I wasn't able to do just as a, just as a person. So, so yeah, very much so. So Zara the Windseeker, um, The Shadow Speaker, and the first of the Akata books, those were all written while I was working on my master's in literature and my PhD in literature. And, um, the, w during those times, I discovered university libraries and have not fallen out of love with them. I am in love with university libraries and, and libraries as a whole. I started reading in a library, so libraries are very important. To, they're, it's not just that they're important to me, they're magical places to me. You know, they're places of energy, they're places of discovery, they're places of adventure to me. So that's how they've always been. So, so yeah, um, during my PhD, the, I discovered university libraries because all I knew before that were public libraries. University libraries are haunted in a different way. You know, there, there are these dark areas where, where you have these stacks of old, old forgotten um, books and journals and research that you just go in there, you just pull something out, you'll just find something and discover something. So like, I was going through all that during my uh, master's and PhD, just discovering those places when I was supposed to be studying, but that's all right, I did the studying as well. Um, and so when I, when I started writing, those naturally you know, found their way into the stories that I was that I was writing. So, like Zara the Windseeker, there's a there's a library that was I can't even go into it, but there's a library that's grown from a plant that was struck by lightning and it's got a see through. Yeah, there's an important library in Zara the Windseeker, my first book, and then in the Akata books, the library is a focal point of all of the the um, the government and the p people of power um, and leadership in this magical community. You know, and there's a reason for that. It's because of like being around libraries so much. Libraries are a very big part of my stories.